Hey, what is up guys? Take by yourself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 14 public beta 4. Now Apple has just released the software for public beta testers and I don't usually film videos on public betas. I just tweeted out, you know, the public beta is out. But this one I did want to give you guys a heads up because I've had some spotty situations or not so good of an experience so far with developer beta. And I wanted to answer a few questions and also give you guys an overall view and heads up of what to expect if you decide to install this software. Now this one, public beta 4 for iOS 14 comes two days later after Apple releasing developer beta. Now the first thing I do want to say is a lot of you guys are asking what what is the difference between the developer beta and the public beta in terms of features everything is the same in terms of software everything is going to be the same the difference here is that apple uh, releases developer betas first and then a day or two as we see now releases the public beta so i've had ios uh, 14 uh developer beta 4 installed on this iphone 11 for about two days now of course and i did have a few issues with the software starting with app crashing some of my applications just crash the battery isn't as good. I've seen some hiccups and some hangs and certain applications not working at all, such as the camera and things like that. But things have been gotten slightly worse for me on the iPhone 11 with beta 4. Now, everyone's experience may change and may vary, but as I mentioned, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. If you're in public beta 3, hold off maybe a day or two to see what the results are in a couple of days to see if the uh, issues persist because I've been having some issues with uh, this beta but a lot of users are having actually a better experience than with beta 3 so it's been spotty some users do report more battery uh, more screen time right better battery performance but some users as myself less battery uh, the performance isn't as good the software has hiccups there's hang app crashing as I just showed you and just some portions of the software that just completely feel unfinished just like this here so things like that you know so things aren't as good in my personal experience with the latest developer beta 4 which is the same as public beta 4 and again this is a quick heads up if you're in beta 3 and you want to update just keep those things in mind now another thing i do want to ask how is your experience so far i would like to know your thoughts developers and public beta testers in the comments down below if you can leave your device tell me about the battery tell me about the performance any app crashes or any issues that way we can all sort of have a conversation down below in the comments and everyone can get a better understanding because i have not so good of an experience so far but then again a lot of users are having a great experience or not experiencing the same thing the point of this video is a quick heads up leave it in the comments down below how is your experience so far for developer and public beta and again all the features are exactly the same we have the new apple tv which the new exposure notification options within settings that's enabled now so if you want to have a full breakdown of this developer beta uh, or public in developer beta links will be in the description for that video thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you real soon peace